Our servicemen and women risk their lives every day to keep America safe. We need to give them the tools and the training and support necessary to defeat any threat. That's why the House just passed a bill to rebuild our military and support our troops both on and off the battlefield. The National Defense Authorization Act will strengthen our military, put our troops first, and keep America safe. After years of underfunding, this bill invests more in maintenance, modernization, and training, and it allows our armed forces to grow to full strength again. It ensures Hoosier workers can continue playing a key role in our national defense by manufacturing high-quality, made-in-America military equipment, like Humvees built in AM General Mishawaka, F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets with wheels and brakes made by Honeywell in South Bend, and C-130Js, F-35s, and V-22 Ospreys with engines built by Rolls-Royce in Indianapolis. This bill also fully funds the 2.4% pay raise our troops deserve. It provides important resources to help military families. And in the wake of the Marines United scandal, it protects service members from having their private images shared without their consent. Finally, the NDAA puts the safety and security of the American people first by keeping in place the ban on closing Gitmo or transferring dangerous detainees to U.S. soil. And it boosts investment in missile defense to counter threats posed by rogue regimes like Iran and North Korea developing long-range missiles. With this critical legislation, we're investing in our national security and supporting the brave men and women who sacrifice so much to defend our freedom.